Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so last episode we had uh, killed Kingsley after we had uh, read the terminal notes about the uh, Cianci family. And I feel like we weren't really supposed to kill Kingsley just yet. I feel like we were supposed to um, read the notes and talk to him to like continue the investigation. So yeah, we, we loaded an older save. Um, I just came back here and we're basically right before we went to talk to Kingsley last time. So we also got to investigate Clarence Johnson, which I think they said he's the guy that does the drugs north of, either north of Freeside or north of Westside. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to apologize. I don't know if the last three episodes I did yesterday, I just feel like I was a little bit out of it. Um, I might not have sounded as, I don't know, like motivated or anything. <laughs> Or enthusiastic, um, so I wanted to apologize for that. Um, I guess I was a bit tired when I was recording, so hopefully I can do a better job today. Um, so yeah, let's um, let's do it right this time. Go talk to Kingsley. I was uh, also playing uh, volleyball yesterday morning, and I had one of those things happen where. It's like you, you just hit the ball with your finger, and it like sprains it or something. But I, like, I only hit it with one finger. <laughs> it's my, my left ring finger. Uh, it's been bugging me since yesterday. I'm kind of like looking at it now, and it almost looks slightly crooked, so I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure if... Hey. I feel like if it still hurts after a week, I might have to go see a doctor. <laughs> That's a bit odd. <sighs> what now? I got some questions. Um, looking for information on Mr. Cianci. I heard you might know something. I might have heard the name before. Who's asking? Literally the guy talking to you. <laughs> I can see that. But that's not what I meant, shitbird. Don't be smart with me. Who you working for? Um, not working for anyone. Um. Oh shit! Who did it say was? Uh, one. Of, it said in the notes one of these guys was aligned with him. Um. I don't remember which one. Um, because I think one still has enemies. The yeah, other's his friends. I guess we'll just go with this. I'm not working for anyone. Then you must be real stupid to be asking questions about the Cianci family. Wrong ones might get you killed. What do you want? <clears throat> Depends. How much is this information to you? Um. Don't lie to me and tell me there's risk. You'll get 500 from me, no more, no less. Well, there is always some risk. But money is money. What do you know about CNC? I've only heard rumors. Not exactly the kind you'd hear around the dinner table, but rumors nonetheless. He's a big gang lord from Reno, and he's got a large amount of money. Limitless, some say. Still, he spends so much into building a drug empire. If he has so much money, why bother? People who claim he's secretly rich never have an answer for that one. Hmm. Well, what I do know is that he's expanding past Reno. He's got businesses in the hub. Redding. The she, even here in Freeside. There are rumors that Cianci is here, somewhere in Vegas. If that's true, <coughs> you might find him at that club he opened up. They call it the Back Alley. Oh, I think I remember. That was, um... How is it? We... We found that. It was uh, behind that building. 
in Freeside. Um, uh, what, what was it? Um, we were doing uh, Tales of Nerino episode zero. And we were looking around there for something. Um, I thought you said you had dealings with CNC. I have a lot of contacts all over. Even some in Reno. But I've never dealt with Mr. Cianci. Never claimed to have either. Okay. <coughs> Man, you should sell your own brand of cigarettes. Um... Hey, what's up? Uh, can I ask you some questions? Like... What do you know about Mr. Cianci? Gangster, career criminal, murderer, and the leader of New Reno. Or at least, he likes to think he is. Let's see, I'm gonna see if I can raise the audio. Uh... All he does is take and take and take. He's destroyed millions of families, not to mention New Reno. He wasn't always the best place before him, but he certainly hasn't made things better. Hmm. I just thought of an idea for a, a mod. It'd be like, um... Uh, what, what would it be like? It would be like the Grubatron mod. It's like that little gun that you can use to change NPCs' animations. But it's it's the uh, the voice mod, so or the voice gun. So you like shoot someone with it, and you can set it to either raise or lower their volume. Because <laughs> that, that would be like useful, so you could like raise specific voice actors' volumes, not just like the entire game. Uh, what do you know about Mr. Smith? If Chianchi wanted him alive, he's got to be important somehow. That's all I can say. Where are you from? My family used to live up north in the core region. Moved to New Reno when I was a kid. Now I just live around Good Springs. Oh really? You're from Good Springs? Or live around Good Springs? Okay. Um, you ever heard of Kingsley? I mean, probably just heard us talking. I know Kingsley. I've gambled a bit at his casino. He's no better than Chianchi. He's just got a smaller pool of people to intimidate. Hmm. Still, as far as I know, he hasn't killed anyone. Just made a select few miserable. I don't give him business anymore. I'm not allowed to do business with him anymore. <laughs> So tell me, why do you want to kill Cianci so bad? He... It's a painful subject for me to dive into. Let's just drop it. Man, your voice really is quiet. I'm gonna have to probably start dubbing over you. Uh, enough questions. Actually... Alright. Yeah, sure. Do I have any... Uh, Serious stranger hat. Um, do these count as faction armor? Hmm. Interesting. I should probably get you some armor. check out the back alley or we can look for uh, Clarence or I, I guess not I guess we can just go to back alley where's Clarence though do we have any of those notes Let's still go check out Clarence's hideout. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, so you just 
have like a bunker or something. Hey! What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, let me uh... Bring that back down a little bit. Seems like just the female voice acting's a little bit low. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, you better! So anyway... Hey! Just leave me be, alright? I've got a lot on my mind. Tell me about yourself. Ain't got nothing to say. I've got my business, you got yours. Now me, I just guard the door. That's all you need to know. Uh, okay. Hey! That area's off limits. Get the fuck out of there. No. Found you. <laughs> Sewer latch key. Mm. This isn't a sewer. Ruin store. Oh. Sealed sewers. Oh, nice. I'm guessing uh, when I meet Clarence, we're not exactly going to have a friendly uh, meeting. Where the hell is this place? Does someone work here? Or? Clarence thinks that just because Bobby was a gun runner that he doesn't need my technical services anymore. Who the fuck does he think he is? Shut the fuck up, Dougie, he says. Go guard the entrance, Dougie. He says, fuck him. I told him I could program one of those sentry bots to do it. And you know what he fucking said? He doesn't like robots. Robots are unpredictable. Told me not to be a fucking lazy prick and do what he tells me to do. I feel like telling him off, but what's the point? Guard duty is the most boring job I've ever had here. All I do is sit in my ass all day and guard the damn door. I don't even get to go on missions with the guys anymore. Also, the fact that I gotta sleep up here means that if the NCR or something rolls over this place, they'll get me first and most likely miss the entrance to the sewers. Fuckers. Probably planned that. Clarence has had it out for me ever since I shot that stripper by accident. I mean, she was a four at the... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say... <laughs> She was a four, not four years old. Okay. A four at best, but Clarence didn't care. Now we got that little shit Bobby doing all our repairs. Don't get me wrong, he knows what he's doing, but I'm still way better uh, than that shit is. Hell, my brother is better than him, and he's probably dead by now anyway. Well, now Clarence has him use my workshop from time to time. He even set up a bed up top for him. Fucker, as long as he doesn't take my bed... I worked long hours for that bed. So is there actually an upstairs? I thought it was blocked off. Yeah, it looks blocked off. Um, okay. I guess 
go check out the sewers. After I pick up some cans. It smells down here. Anyone who would even think about living down here must be completely insane. Keep a lookout. play a little game here. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, and if I think you're lying, I get a little more clever with your anatomy. Uh... First question. Who are you, and who do you work for? What? Oh, what? I didn't even get the answer. I'm just beating the shit out of him. supposed to actually come talk to Clarence just because we already did uh, Kingsley's investigation. Bounty Vladimir Grandin, Dr. Barrows, and Clarence's terminal. safe I'm not seeing here. Sewer. Bobby? So, who are you? Oh, I'm Bobby. Something breaks, I fix it. And that's about all I can really do. Okay. Uh, what kind of stuff? Guns, usually. I'm relatively new to the gang. I used to work with some gun runners, and I learned some stuff with them. Okay. Oh. Okay, sure. Oh, never mind. Oh, you only have a repair skill of 20. Who are you? Oh, it's Bobby. Um. What can you tell me about the Wrecking Crew? 
They're all assholes, but they keep me alive. Uh-huh. Who are you? I already told you, I'm Bobby. Okay. What can you tell me about Clarence? He's an asshole, that's for sure. CNC? Nope, probably an asshole. Hmm. Alright. Um. Okay, bye. I'm not sure if I should talk to you again. Anyone else here? Can't steal your beer. Oh. Oh, what the? The hell was that? Jesus Christ, barrels. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna leave here. Uh, which is this way. Picked up some bounties. Uh, Greenin. Wasn't he the guy? Um, Piotr Vlad's guard, Mikhail Greenin. Okay. Dr. Barrows. Um. Bounty notice, Dr. Barrow's 4,000, age, he's a fucking ghoul cat, how is this funk, how is this funk thinkable, bro, last seen at Gamora, ghoul, Gamora, need the head real soon, would be funky fresh, right, what, Green in reward 5,000, free side location unknown, extra capsule reward, for the death of key members of his group, this includes the following, Pyotr, Vladskard, Mikhail Grannon, Red Nisha, Esther Greenan. Red Nisha. Sounds somewhat familiar. Come on! Uh -huh. Ooh, oh. Done and done. Nope. All right, so the back alley was back here. Uh. Welcome back. Yeah, we went in here. Um, a while back, but I wasn't sure what it was, so I didn't go too far in. Um, okay. Hey, man. You here for an autograph, or...? Uh, I'm here to get you out of that wall. Oh, sorry. I th thought you were one of my fans. Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh, who are you? Me and my pals here are the Peacekeepers. We're a guitar band. Play here every once in a while. I'm the head guitarist, Nash. Uh, sure, I'll take an autograph. Alright, here you go. Always supporting the fans, man. Hey, man. Um... What can you tell me about your band? 
We're a band, but we're also a message. We go around the wasteland telling the people about how peace is an option. A way of life. Uh, we're pacifists, you see. It's just our nature. And we want to show people it can be in their nature as well. Just got to give it a chance. We've had troubles getting gigs before this, but now that we do, we play every night. Seems kind of weird. Like, yeah, for a group of pacifists, why do you work for known criminal that enslaves people? Now, they... they don't enslave women. They... they just... It's, it's like a gimmick, you know? They don't really explode. You know, thematic and all that. Uh-huh. Why would I lie about this? Fuck. This isn't us. I just chose not to see it because of the kickbacks and the drugs. They were so good. But you're right. I'm betraying what it means to be a peacekeeper. I think I can help you out. Normally I wouldn't do this, but I do happen to have a spare key in a sports room. Keep spare keys in there for the whole place. Oh. Take it. Sneak out of here. What about you? I got nowhere to go but here. Plus I got a contract with Chianchi. Is it Chianchi or Cianci? Hey, man. Um... You like working with Dimitri? Yeah, I'm well, sorry. Dimitri's a bit of an ass, and his partner Sport is the only one who I can actually understand. Why, well, does he actually speak Dimitri Russian? Dimitri has real trouble speaking to us in... Uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah. English. Okay. Well, I did a little bit of Russian on Duolingo, so... We'll, you know uh, you want a piece of this. We'll see uh, how good I am. Hey, you're the one who's been what going the? around helping people around here, right? <laughs> the king says to keep up the good work. I said to give you this. Okay. Yeah, what do you need? Uh, who are you? Name's Bill. I sell drinks. Cool. Bill with a B? Yes, dipshit. <laughs> who are you? Great. Another moron. Leave me alone, moron. I can't help it. Don't walk away. Um, Let me show you the time of your life. Alright, where's this back room he was talking about? Go upstairs later. Rico. Mm. Hey there, hot stuff. I'm Rico. Mm. You must be new here. Uh, tell me about the collars. I think they're sexy and a little bit kinky too, don't you? Mm, not really my thing. Who are you? I'm Rico. I'm the head here. The head honcho, you might say. Oh boy. Uh, if you're the head here, why do you have to wear those collars? I don't have to wear these collars, I just like how it feels. Mm. Okay. Alley master key, slave collar master key, door component. What? Oh boy. To my good friend Cannonball Taylor, Nash Williams. Nice. Sports New Ledger. This is my private info. Do not read. You've been warned. Gonna be a little different uh, than the one I kept for Dimitri's business. He can haul his own damn ledger now that he's got that fucking computer. I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. He doesn't want me dealing outside of his business, but 
this is a partnership, not some fucking dictatorship. Been like that since Cianci, I guess. Even if he did find out, I guess there wouldn't be much he could do about it. Records, to West Side Residents, Adult uh, Women, 500 Caps. Didn't get the guy's name, but he wanted this one clean. Found a drunk girl out in the alley and figured he, she was in good enough health to clean up and sell. Sure enough, my buyer liked uh, what I had took her for, like what I had and took her for 500 to Motor Runner. Adult Woman, 28. 250 caps, old woman, 25 caps. I don't like dealing with fiends. Dimitri hates it too, but he won't even give it a second thought. Hell, at this rate, I just about I just do it out of necessity. It's not like I care what people think of me. I got a good selection of people from Clarence's gang this time. Some Vegas trash got lost on the wrong side of town, and that just made us all the richer. I don't know what Motor Runner wants to do with all these people, but I don't care. These are good caps I'm making. To Nephi. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 150 caps. I think I like dealing with Motor Runner better. I waited for hours out in the desert and this bastard comes out of nowhere. Almost takes my damn head off with that golf club of his. Sold him some kids that got lost over near West Side. Another good score that Clarence donated. Cook Cook. Adult woman, 200 caps. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 100 caps. Dude smells like ass but pays well. Note to self, do not eat whatever he offers. What do you need? Nothing. I guess I'm just gonna read your journal in front of you. May 18th, Cianci makes the move today. That cat's going loco. He flew to Coop. Those bare fucking NCR soldiers are uh, uh, be messing with him. I go to him and I ask why. Why he come? He only say it's a new business strategy. What this cat thinking? Anyway, he be helping set up the new back alley. I got the caps, I got the ladies, things be going smooth. May 20th, new tech came in today, installed, well, greasy sweet sensors that pop the head, placed techies on both doors, slaves want to groove outside, they groove without a head. We digging this? Compliance will do well with the cats. May 24th, those king fellas been real rude like, I don't like how we deal. Listen to this shit. We get this cat named Pacer. He's telling me we need to get out of town or the king's gonna get us like this other guy they done got, Mr. Richardson. He ran a club then died. Heard about him myself. I don't think the kings killed him. I heard it was one guy, but I could be wrong. I tell him I treat my girls well and if he pays the blind eye, I make him the, the rich man. When I say that, he lit up. Looks like these king cats won't be that big of a deal. May 25th, one of the locals up and broke up one of the bathrooms. Had someone take him out back, put a bullet in his head. Didn't look like they would pay for the damage anyway. Need a better way to sort out riffraff. I think I'm going to start asking CNC for more help. May 30th, time to rake in the caps for CNC. Too bad this place is in such shit money state. Everyone poor, how do I get money I need? Gotta pay that sweet swinging samurai before he goes red hot. Hmm, thinking of taking some of these vagrants off the streets and selling them as slaves. That'll get the money up. June 3rd. Fucker, Cianci is blowing my brass tacks down, man. What is this jive? I was grooving up this and he had to bring me down. No slaves trade, he said. I told him double consciousness, funky cat. Then he blew his top. He says his slaves are people with debt, mine are vagrants. No deal. He doesn't want to deal with the crimson still no fair i know his fresh man clarence doesn't does it all the time what the heck june 4th new idea gore night bring people from vegas till i get the till i get my own place there if only money wasn't so tight we'd be bringing those vagrants uh sport swept from the street man sport be a funky cat we bring the vagrants the bad girls then we pop their heads for entertainment perfect wow Aye, why you bring my house down? Can't you see what I'm pushing? Well, first off, uh, Privyet, um, oh, 
let's see. Uh, how do you say my name? I forgot that. Do you do German by chance? Uh, my Namen Cannonball Taylor? Uh, Begates? Uh, do Namen? Have you no vision? Have you no foresight into the world of fashion, the style, the women? I am Dimitri. This is my hot dog factory. What? <laughs> Wait, who are you just talking to? Do you must talk with big purpose? My business, your business, not the same thing. Um, what is this place? This is Club Space Cowboy. You got that, Jack? Da. I'm looking for Mr. Cianci. I heard you might know a thing or two. Groovy, daddy -o. Just groovy. But I don't do the Western freakout with time store cheese bags like you, yeah? Uh... Best you get your side two-steppin' freak on out of here. Boss man is real macho macho man. I don't know what you're saying, but it's probably bullshit. Tell me what I wanna what I want to know now. Guards! Policia Whoa! Stop watch out! Aha! Uh -huh. Don't get up. Uh oh. Uh, you have a note or anything? Cover me. I'm gonna find some ammo. This is hopeless. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, you're in a world. This is hopeless. Now. What the Damn. hell do you think you're doing? Wait, were you not hostile? For a second it looked like you were. Mm. Oh, oh, shit, that was a gambler. Alright, we might have to choose a different dialogue option. Alright, let's try this again. Pretty Viet. Um, Aye, why you bring my... Looking for Mr. Cianci. Groovy, daddy -o. Just groovy. But I don't do the Western freakout with time store cheese bags like you, yeah? I still don't know what that means. Best you get your side two-stepping freak on out of here. Boss man is real macho macho man. Um, anyway. I'm sure a businessman such as yourself knows the monetary value information can have. Uh, I don't really. I mean, I kind of want to just kill you, but keep it. All right. What the? What is this? Matrix. All right. Well, I think we're gonna cut here. Um, and next episode I'll check upstairs. We'll go do some sleuth work. Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, y'all have a, a great day.